Всем привет! С вами канал Morbius Game. Да. Здравствуйте всем. Сегодня у нас премьера. Wrestling 2019. -го. Ну, как бы выпущен 18. -го. Раз игра поддерживается целый год. Поэтому называется вот так вот. 19 год не наступил, а игра уже есть. Получается mm -hmm. так вот. Поехали. Мы еще не видели. Да. Так, я еще запись Встречает нас вот такое приветствие. Типа, добро пожаловать в ЛЕ 2 к 19 Mm -hmm. Все такое прочее. Да, красивый такой. В общем, mm -hmm. вот такое меню у нас встречает. Тут и шоу-кейс, и башни. Какие-то. Mm -hmm. Мы еще сами не знаем, что это такое. И как я с сюжетом, ребят, прошу Да, это... и все, все. Все, я надеюсь, очень красиво. Есть задание. Поехали. Поехали. А шоу-кейс называется так. Возвращение Даниэл... Даниэла... Тьфу. Даниэла Брайна, вот. Возвращение Даниэла Брайна. ну это, это да. Мы уже третью попытку предпринимаем записать первый матч. Так это мы уже полдня на это потратили. Целый, нет, целый день. Максимум, что у нас получилось записать, ребят, это приветствие и вот этот ролик, все. А сама игра вся у нас Марку получилась. Да, к сожалению. А, первый матч будет у нас против Джона Сини. Э, угу. Он прошел у нас в 2003 году. Так. Шестого или восьмого я говорил? А восьмого ты сказал? Восьмого февраля 2003 года. Поехали. Ребят, пока ты придется right побыть за кадром. Как бы это грустно не звучало. Когда я первый раз был подписан в 2000, я не имел никакого представления, что это будет в ближайшие два месяца. Но с каждым годом я был более менее Брайан Брайан Данилсон сделал свой 
Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Ouais, t'es pas du tout, tu peux le faire. Очень долго мы над ним думали. Честно, очень долго. Полдня. Да. Сейчас я вам объясню на паузу поставлю. Короче, нажимайте крестик, когда ваш противник стоит. Потом нажимайте R1 плюс квадрат. И все. Мне еще и подсказали неправильную информацию. Абсолютно. Это целая история, ребят. Сколько мы долбили первый матч. Что такое? Я говорю, это целая история. Сколько мы первый матч долбили в качестве. А, а, это да. Это да. Я и говорю полдня. Ну. Итак, показываю, как это надо выполнять. Показываю. Надеюсь, получится в первый раз. Брайан Даниэлсон начал тренировку с бывшим WWE чемпионом. В Monday Night Raw он Шон Майклс. Прежде чем он вернулся, HBK начал учиться в рестлинге, и мы видим одного из его студентов. Как я это делал? Сейчас я прочитаю задание, мне так проще. Окей, понял. 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 Before I mention Brian Danielson training with Shawn Michaels, and I see some of that high flying pedigree, this kid doesn't strike me as a main event material like HBK. Anything else about his training? Well, you can also see. Let's 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 Serious technical wrestling chops, courtesy of additional training Danielson got from one half of the world. There's a pin now. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. John Cena is the very prototype of a WWE superstar. He's got the physique. And athleticism of a future WWE champion. I completely agree, Byron. We've already seen him beat some main event talent like Chris Jericho and Rikishi in singles action. This could mean trouble. What we have to do to defeat him is to give him the first and the second. I told you the second and the second. Yes. Well, a man is probably going to get hurt. Of course, that's a unique suplex. Wrist clutch suplex. Perfect. This could be huge. Down he goes with a scoop slam. The two of you were spot on about John. Back in control of Cena. Right back to the arm. Great strategy. Weaken the poor, powerful Cena by taking away one of his arms. Brian sticking to his own house, not taking any unnecessary risks here against John Cena. Oh, just looking to control and neutralize the bigger man. Cena though back to his feet, and Brian continues to work on the arm. But now Cena. Test of strength, and you don't want to get into a power battle with John. Absolutely not. Cover here, and a kick out. And again, Cena powering Danielson down. Oh, look at this incredible core strength by Danielson. Cena cannot believe that he can't get Danielson's shoulders on the ground. That was a nice and close. And Danielson able to hold the one like incredible sequence. Говорит, ну ладно, не будем. 
Но мы не помним вот это вот последнее задание мы тоже не поняли как я его выполнил то ли квадратик мы нажимали то ли чего-то мы нажимали сейчас Хоу, квадрат что-то с головой связано ну он меня сейчас удан бросит извините за разум Here's a cover. Gonna take a whole lot more. I tell you one thing, Kang. He can talk a good fight, and he can fight a good fight. And look at the quickness by Cena. Here we go. John Cena setting it up. Beautiful spin-out power bomb. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. His shoulders are down. <laughs> Давай, Антон молодец. Блин. Right to the back of the neck. Давай, Зимари. Oh, shoulder breaker! The human body can only absorb so much of that. Oh, elbow cut him right on the bridge of the nose! Great offense by John Cena. Блин, все это расправляет. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. He delivers a hard clothesline. Я на 
The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. There's a vicious DDT. A nasty kick there. Yes. What is it? Mm-hmm. To be extremely new. Here's the cover for the win. If you're Brian Danielson, what do you do at this point as he whips Cena across the ring? Oh, Cena gets up a boot just in time. And now John Cena looking to take over. Looking up to put Brian Danielson where he wants him. And here's the cover. And he got Cena with the win over Brian Danielson. Here is your winner. Yeah, but we're not. Now you have to fight Danielson, but Cena was just too much tonight. A hard fought victory tonight for Cena. How did that fight the win? Gotta be impressed with Cena tonight. Yeah. Так, мы с порой можем давайте. Ну давай. И выложим. Давай. Будем по два матча выкладывать. A lot of guys would have parlayed competitive matches on heat and velocity into being signed full time to WWE, but that's not how things turned out. It's like my wife Bree likes to say. If anything was easy, I would be Daniel Bryan. But before I could become Daniel Bryan, I was Bryan Danielson. Personally, as I've heard from my wife, this was also a somewhat painful experience. I came back as part of NXT, which wasn't like the NXT that you know and love today. At the time, NXT was a reality show with rookies and pro mentors. Unfortunately, my pro was The Miz. People say that you're great, that you're a star, that you're ready for the WWE. Do you think you're ready? Yes, yes I do. But one thing you have to learn about the WWE is you have to expect anything. Believe it or not, we didn't get along very well back then either. I think the most ridiculous thing we had to do in NXT was the obstacle course. Okay, so you're gonna do the monkey bars. Then we go in the ring and juggle. Juggle. Then you're gonna see how fast you can drink soda. Side note, it was actually supposed to be a hot dog eating contest. When they realized that was vegan and they didn't have any vegan hot dogs, they turned it into a soda drinking contest. I didn't know vegans could drink soda. Not drink at all. I haven't drank any soda in years. Think, watching that on TV, a grown man just drinking soda from a cup. Ну потому что помнишь, я говорила, что будет хуже, ну оказалось это не так. Despite that, I did have the tremendous opportunity to show the WWE Universe what I was capable of when I got to face the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. I loved watching Chris Jericho from the time I was in high school. The stuff that he did in WCW. Being able to go against the world champion on NXT on the first show, win, lose, or draw, that elevates you. And I was very thankful for that opportunity. We're on the inaugural episode of NXT, the world heavyweight champion Chris Jericho taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel Bryan. I've been looking forward to this main event 
WrestleMania is on the horizon, but tonight is a, like a WrestleMania of sorts for all the NXT rookies. Oh, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier in the night to be out on the biggest stage of his life, but that was before he knew he was going to face the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take Miz's advice if he wants to survive here. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. What a clothesline! Ouch! Oh, and what impact! <laughs> Look at him move. What acrobatics. I've got to say, I'm surprised to see Brian actually testing the champion here a bit. It must be the inspiration from the Miz that's propelling this offense. <laughs> Não foi isso, pode ser. Slam down with authority. Michael, do you think that Chris Jericho might become a believer here tonight? I think the WWE Universe is starting to become a believer in Daniel Bryan. No, no. What I think is Chris Jericho is a six-time world champion. He's a nine-time Intercontinental champion. He's a pro to a rookie that shows him respect that Jericho is out here to put this Bryan goof in his place. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Mm -hmm. Got the leg. Oh, I think this man needs business. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oof. Ryan's in trouble. He's just so dominant. Brian's been known to be a submission specialist on the independents, but Jericho has a few holds of his own to watch out for. Listen, Daniel may be a submission machine, but you don't become a star in WWE without charisma. Brian can't come up with a better catchphrase than The Miz because Daniel Bryan is not awesome. Daniel Bryan has the personality to make paint dry. That drops him in a hurry. Shoulders on the mat. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Nope. To beat the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll, that's not going to do it. There's no way that Jericho's going to lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Oh. Jericho, though, needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. Wise maneuver from a wily veteran. Uh, I'm not sure if Jericho's going to get much rest time. What's this guy doing? Brian might have bounced off the announce desk himself. I don't think Miz liked the fact that Brian threw his body in harm's way, and I, I can't say I blame him. What's this guy thinking? And the referee starts his 10 count. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. This is where all it takes is one move and your opponent can gain the upper hand. That could be a game changer. Huh? I'm a champion! 
Итак, мы прошли два матча. Это была премьера ВВЕ блока 19. Ставим пальцы вверх и подписываемся на канал. Увидимся в следующей серии.